my God, I've done it again. Another camera crew. Gore Vidal has seemed to have always had his finger on the pulse of American politics. Vidal, as you probably know, has written some 22 novels along with plays, movies, and essays. I don't do memory lane much. There are just so many Gore Vidals. Who is Gore Vidal? Gore Vidal has been a thorn in the American establishment of which he is, by birth at any rate, a charter member. I don't think it's right to present Mr. Gore Vidal as a political commentator of any consequence. In the United States, 5% of the population have 20% of the income, and the bottom 20% have 5% of the income. Islam, Judaism, Christianity are the three great evils that have befallen the world. And the difference between a homosexual and a heterosexual is about the difference between somebody who has brown eyes and somebody who has blue eyes. Who says so? I say so. I love the way you describe this country as the United States of amnesia. <laughs> Did I say that? Yes. I forgot. I forgot. His whole career as essayist, playwright, novelist comes down to one thing, the terrible discrepancy between the possibilities put forward by the Founding Fathers and the actual results of what we got. I have been criticized for saying that there is no real difference between Republican and Democratic candidates anywhere. People say that a writer sees the future. He says that's not true. He says a writer doesn't see the future. A writer sees the present. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gore Vidal. All right, let's get going. Whenever I want to know what the United States is up to, I look into my own black heart. It's really an extraordinary life because, I mean, it's really been led on the muscle, on the fight. All along, I think the most useful and creative people in the United States from the very beginning is the men who have said no. And many men have begun to say no again, and when the chorus gets loud enough, the people march.